identifying the finite verb. The, the ability to look at the predicator where there are verbs and to identify the finite verb is an important aspect of syntactical analysis. Let's look at a concrete example of a clause. It's a rather clumsy example, but it will be useful to explain the whole concept. If we say the child throws the ball, in this instance here we have the predicator consists of one word in the verb element, the verb phrase. This is both a lexical verb, it carries lexical meaning, and it also has uh, it, it was also known as the finite verb. When you have only one verb in a clause, in, when you only have one verb in the predicator, then it's a finite verb and the lexical verb. In comparison, look at two. The child was throwing the ball. And now in this instance, you have the lexical verb is there, and this is uh, the lexical verb in this case is non-finite and here you have the finite verb this is a helping verb and this is a lexical verb but this is also the, the helping verb in this case is also finite <coughs> in this instance the child has been throwing the ball. Well, the same again. This is the lexical verb here. This is a helping verb and this is also a helping verb. Now of these three, this is non-finite and this is mm, non-finite, sorry about the scribble, and this is the finite verb here. So in this instance, this is the finite verb, this is the finite verb, and this is non-finite, and these are both non, uh, been throwing is also non-finite. Now what does it mean for a verb to be finite or not? Well, finiteness has to do with person number and tense. It means that this word, this, this in three, the word has is finite. It means that it has a limited application. And what that means is if you change for person, number or tense, then you have to change the finite verb. So for example, in three, if this was, if this had been children, one child, two children, you've changed the number, then you will have to change the finite verb. This would then have to become the children have been throwing the ball. Or in this case, if you would have changed the number, if you would written children here, then this would have been um, were throwing the ball. Only the finite verb changes. Now, if we look at the slide once again, and we, we're in a situation where um, instead of changing for number, we change for tense. So instead of the child throws the ball, because it's tense, it's another time we're talking in past time, then you can't say the child throws the ball. You would have to say the child threw the ball. Only the finite verb will change. But in this case, the finite verb and the lexical verb is the same thing. In two, the child was throwing the ball. Um, if you, if this is going to be future, it would be the child is going to throw the ball. But in effect, this word is the one that will change. And in number three, the child has been throwing the ball. You'd have to change this word here. It would be the child had been throwing the ball if you changed the tense. 
and now if you to change uh, if you to change the person and instead of the child you had uh, John throws the ball John was throwing the ball John has been throwing the ball but if instead of John you had they you've changed the person then it's they you can't say they throws the ball it become they throw the ball they were throwing the ball and the ch they have been throwing the ball in each instance only the finite verb changes it changes for person number and tense the other verbs are non-finite they do not change when you change person number and tense now in the last example this quite this doesn't quite work um, because you have the word may may is known as a modal auxiliary verb or a modal help verb and it's called a modal because although it's a finite verb it does not change for person number or tense in this situation here have and been and throwing they're all non-finite and may is the finite verb how it differs to these other ones ha has in three was in two is that it does may does not change to another form if you change the person number and tense that's the end of this session